Before you knit, you have to know how to cast on. So this is the first step. You're going to need, this is for a long tail cast on, so you're going to need a long tail, depending on how many stitches you're casting on. Um, and there's no way to know that without um, trying it out. But here's the deal. I'm going to give myself a couple yards. Stretch it, stretch it. Okay, I've got a couple yards of tail. Then I'm going to tie a slip knot, and a slip knot goes like this. It's just like a regular knot that you tie to tie your shoes, except for you're making a loop instead. I'll do that one again. You're going to make a loop. You can reach through and pull that out. There's a loop. There's a slip knot. Okay, now that you've got the loop, you'll take your needle and put it in the loop and snug it down. Don't make it really tight, just a little bit, snugly so it doesn't fall off. Now you're going to split the yarn like that with your fingers and grab it down here with your other fingers. So you've got it making a big loop there. This is the tail that's over here and then this one is off of your ball. Now you're going to make a loop like that. You're going to go under your thumb and come back and get this one off your finger and then pull it snug not tight just snug and then do it again go under your thumb to the left through and pull that back yarn through pull it snug under the thumb to the left Toward the right, around the right side of the finger, pointed finger, and then pull the thumb yarn down. This is a really important part, is keeping this split here. That helps you work back and forth and holding these not tight, tight, just snugly. Under, over the top from the right and pull it through. Snug. Snug is the good word, not tight. Under, over, pull it tight. Snug, not tight. Under, over, pull it snug. And there you have seven stitches. You're ready to start knitting. To knit, you're going to turn it around this way and use not the tail end, but the knit from the ball end to start knitting.